Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. Oh. Mm. I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe mm. Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What's good, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, I'm still up, so let's go. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me say hello to all of my new viewers, anyone that is returning, and to all of my BFFs out there. What it do, Scorpio? All right, so let's go on and get into this reading, you guys. So the first card we have here is Artist. Okay, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every area of your life, okay? So Spirit could be encouraging you to engage more in artistic activities, okay? This could be writing, poetry, you may do music, drawing, whatever it is. This could be very helpful in every area of your life. Some of you, particularly with writing, okay? This could be poetry, maybe you're writing a book, writing music. But your words are going to heal, okay? You're going to inspire people, you're going to teach, and you're going to entertain with the words that you write. And whatever you're writing, your angels and your spirit guides are going to be right there behind you, God and your pen, every step of the way. I feel like spirit is trying to allow freedom into your life, okay? Giving you opportunities, okay? Some of you, that's why they're, they're wanting you to engage in artistic activities because some of you have a gift. You've been blessed with a gift to help heal people, but it's through your words, okay? This can be through your, like I said, music. This can be writing. This can be a book. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're healing people. And Spirit, I feel like it's going to allow an opportunity for you to be free to do what you choose. I feel like in the past, y'all know we all don't have to work jobs and shit that we really didn't want to be at, but shit, we got bills and shit, right? So I feel like you didn't have the freedom to do what you wanted and go where you choose and do what you want. But I feel like Spirit is wanting to give you this energy of freedom and allow you to be free to do what you choose that makes you happy. We have innocence. Be loved one. Everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so that we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that you may shrug on your shoulders or that you may outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So Spirit is wanting you to be in this innocent energy. This, you know, children are very innocent. They're very carefree. And I feel like that's the energy Spirit wants you to be in so that you can be able to have the opportunity to be free. You know, when you're a child, you're kind of free to do what you want. You know what I'm saying? You have limitations and stuff because you know you're a child. But it's like you're just in this carefree, childlike energy. All right, y'all. So let's get into this energy here. Let's see what it is that Spirit... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. Let's see what it is that Spirit wants you guys to know. If anything is resonating for you so far, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Holy Spirit. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? What type of energy is around them at this time? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios at this time? All right, Scorpio. So we got thinking about marriage. Okay, so this energy kind of been coming out a lot, okay? This could be you, Scorpio, okay? Maybe you're at this, this age or this point in your life where you want to settle down. You know, you want to find you a man or someone who... You can build a strong foundation with, and you know, you can have a family, start a family, maybe blend a family together. But I feel like marriage has been very heavenly on your mind. You guys know what is in our seventh house right now? I believe Jupiter. But that has to do with the relationships as well. Okay, so someone here could be thinking about marriage, or this is what's been on your mind here. Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. What type of energy is around my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? We got somebody 
that's thinking about marriage. Tell us more. Mm. Okay, so Scorpio, if this is you, baby, everything that you desire is about to come into fruition. So if you've been manifesting love, you know, building a firm foundation with someone and marriage, baby, this shit is about to come into fruition here. And for someone here, it's going to be bittersweet because I feel like someone here, Scorpio, didn't make a move towards you when they were supposed to, okay? We have the energy of someone that's possibly want to open up, talk to you about something, maybe confess, tell some type of truth. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. What type of energy is around my beautiful and my powerful Scorpios at this time? Oh, Scorpio, I think I made this big way too big. I keep adding to it. I can't shuffle it now. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, the energy. What type of energy is around my Scorpios? All right, Scorpio, look at this. Somebody wants to talk, baby, because this is someone who wants a new beginning. This is someone who wants a new opportunity, baby, in love with you why scorpio because they see potential in this connection okay so you could be seeing one 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 scorpio i've been seeing 11 11 here lately okay so you could be seeing 11 11 as well all right so let's get a couple more and then we're gonna see who this is that's thinking about marriage and who this is that want to talk and what they want to talk about all right holy spirit messages for my scorpios i love you scorpio what is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? Baby, I need to know. Well, all right, Scorpio, this could have been someone that tried to impress you, though, at one point in time, okay? So when you first connected with this person, Scorpio, or just someone in general, you know, this is someone who maybe when they looked at you, they thought maybe they compared themselves to you, right? And they was like, shit, you know what I'm saying? I got to kind of impress Scorpio to get them to talk to me or... This could have been what this person thought they had to do to get your attention, okay? So this could have been someone who was used to wearing a mask or someone who felt they couldn't be their true authentic self because they had to impress people. So this could have been someone who didn't think very highly of themselves, always trying to impress people to get them to like them. For some of you, this could be a Leo that we're talking about, or you could be dealing with a Leo. Let's get a couple more. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio? What type of energy is around my Scorpio, Holy Spirit? What type of energy, Holy Spirit? All right, Scorpio, but this is someone who was not telling you the whole truth. So I feel like your interaction when you were dealing with this person, Scorpio, they lied to you about something. They didn't tell you the whole truth about the situation, okay? All right, so let's see. What are we looking at, Scorpio? Let's see who this is. Oh, damn, y'all see that? Let's see what this is. I'm going to say who this is. I'm going to say let's see who this is that wants to talk, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles jumps out of my hand. For some of you, you can be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. This is someone who wants to show you their determination, who wants to show you how patient they can be and how strong will they are, okay? But whoever this is, Scorpio, they took a long time to come towards you to talk or present you with some type of offer here, okay? So whoever this is that wants to talk, Scorpio, it took, them, it took this person a long ass time to get the courage and the energy and the strength to talk to you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this Knight of Pentacles. Why did it take this person so long? This could have been someone who had to work on their heart chakra. April 11th through May the 10th, Scorpio, could be significant for you dealing with this person. I know that's, that's some months on, but I'm just saying that seventh house energy. And I was just talking about um, tour season here. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more about this Knight. Why did it take this person so long? Four of Wands. For some of you, this could be your divine counterpart. Remember I said 1111 energy. Come on, through Spirit. This could be an Aries. This is someone who had to learn to work on their throat shock, okay? This is someone who had to learn how to communicate, to be able to speak their truth. And now that they're able to speak their truth, Scorpio, this is someone who's ready to come home 
to provide you with this stability, okay? They're ready to reunite. They're ready to celebrate and enjoy life together. All right, see one more. This is also someone that's trying to find balance. Okay, so this could be someone that had a lot of priorities and had a lot of things that were pulling them in different directions here. This is someone that's finally made some type of choice. Maybe they prioritize the wrong things, but this is someone that's learning to use their intuition. Some of you, this could be a Capricorn. So this person wants to talk to you now, Scorpio, because they want to have this new beginning. But this is also someone that tried to impress you in the past. So tell us about not telling the whole truth. What did this person lie to my Scorpios about? Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us about not telling the whole truth. Damn, that came out quick. All right, Scorpio, we got the magician. Scorpio, this person tried to deceive you. By using trickery, okay? This is someone who tried to create an illusion. So whoever this is now, Scorpio, they tried to impress you, but this is someone who tried to trick you. They tried to deceive you when they tried to impress you, okay? I feel like this person tried to create some type of illusion, making you feel like, oh, you can have this. You can have that, Scorpio. If you fuck with me, I got this, I got that. I'm the man, I'm that woman. You know, and, and this person really was tricking you and deceiving you because I feel like this person really didn't have it like that okay let's get one more some of you could be dealing with a gemini tell us more holy spirit tell us about not telling the whole truth and we're talking about this king of cups but this is kind of crossing so i feel like for some of you guys you really can trust this person even though this is someone that you put your trust in too this is someone scorpio you were never supposed to trust this person they were very withdrawn, very manipulative. And this is someone who tried to manipulate you by using feelings and emotions, okay? So they use your feelings and emotions for them to manipulate you, to trick you, to deceive you in some shape, form, or fashion. Let's get one more, Holy Spirit. What, how did they treat Scorpio? Tell us about the magician. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about the magician. How did they treat Scorpio? Mm, for some of you guys, this person tricked you because they had you believing that they had changed. They had ended some type of cycle. So this could have been someone who was dealing with a third party or dealing with someone else. Okay, so they could have told you, no, I ain't dealing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I've changed. Yeah, this is what this person lied to you about. I feel like they had you. They treat you. That's how they treat you, Scorpio, because this perception that they gave you was like they were someone who had changed, who had really grown and evolved and worked for themselves. They told you, Scorpio, they was going through this transformation. They had closed out some type of cycle, Scorpio. But this person was lying with this death card, okay? Some of you could be dealing with another Scorpio. We got Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, and Aries again. I feel like for some of you, it's going to be bittersweet because uh, you may have moved on. Let's look at thinking about marriage. Who is this that's thinking about marriage? Tell us about the... Damn, that keep coming out. Yeah. This person that's thinking about marriage, Scorpio, is experiencing a lot of bad luck in their life, okay? A lot of setbacks, a lot of misfortune. And this is someone who I feel like all because they were running away from their problems. This is someone who really needed to heal. But they kept returning to the six of fours, okay? They kept returning to someone from their past. Well, whoever this person was from their past, they were in number trouble, okay? They always called them delays. And they kept returning to someone who was really just trouble in their life, causing a, a lot of, 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 of chaos and drama in their life. This is the situation. This is the person that they kept running back to. And now this person is experiencing a lot of setbacks. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be bittersweet for them because everything that you desire, baby, is about to come into fruition. So if you're desiring to connect with somebody new, baby, they're going to miss out. Okay? All right, Scorpio. So let's see who this reading is about. I called out those signs. So let's get some more. Who is this about, Holy Spirit? Make sure you covering up my mic. All right, y'all. We got... Heavy Aries, heavy Scorpio, okay? So, Scorpio, you can be a Scorpio with Aries placement. 
We have Taurus, Sag, Leo, Gemini. And we also have Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, and Virgo. All right, you guys. I love you. Until next time, stay blessed.